So, citations. What do you need to pay attention to? Well, first of all, you never, ever copy-paste text from others or from the internet, wherever you find it, into your thesis without the proper references. I would say that you almost never, never need to copy-paste anything from the internet, but if you really choose to do that, the least you do is to put in the reference, that is to insert quotation marks for whatever text you have been inserting, and then you put the citation directly after that, telling the reader where you got this from. Believe it or not, we have seen quite a few people, including politicians, who didn't pay attention to that, who did copy-paste text from elsewhere, and they got caught, and they lost their jobs, and this is not what you want to happen to you. So stay away from plagiarism. Always cite whatever you have been using from others. The same applies not only to text, the same applies to figures. I've seen quite a few theses with the figures taken from some web page inserted into someone's thesis without proper reference. Again, this is an absolute no-go. If you use a figure from someone else, you need to cite that person, make it very clear in the figure, per, in the figure leg and that you have been using a figure that someone else has been composed. Then you are allowed to do that, but you need to make this very, very clear. All right. So what kind of citations would go into a thesis? Well, if you are referring to previous findings, to some observations that someone else has made, then you insert the reference and you cite the person, preferentially the original article that has been describing this previous finding. You also do that if you are talking about an idea that is not really your idea. If it's an idea that has been put up, well, typically in the discussion of someone else's original article or in a review article. If it's not your idea, be honest enough to put this in. It will be appreciated if you do that, so you, everyone will know that this idea is taken from someone else. And in very few instances, there will be a situation where you find some phrasing that you read in an article, that you find this phrasing so perfect and that you really want to use it in your thesis as well, then use quotation marks. So, at the beginning and at the end of that phrase that you want to cite word by word, you put in those quotation marks and then after it directly again the reference so it will be clear to the reader that this entire sentence was taken from someone else. Then you're allowed to use it. That's no problem, as long as you put in the citation and the quotation marks. So, you will realize that this will accumulate quite a few citations. So, it can be more than a hundred in a thesis. So, how can you manage to do that? Write the titles and the, the journals and the volumes and the authors of all these different articles how would you assemble that in your thesis? Well, it's highly advisable that you use a dedicated program to manage these references. One of these programs, for instance, is actually called Reference Manager. Another one is called EndNote. Either one of them, and there are probably more out there, you can use them with your word processor. It usually has an add-in for that. And that's what you want to use to download such references and then to insert them into your thesis the proper way. That's the way how you can stay sane while handling all these references for your thesis. So, now you think you're done. Well, no, you're not. Because while writing and reading your thesis immediately thereafter, almost certainly there will be lots of mistakes, odd phrasings, and so on and so forth that you just overlook because after you have been writing and reading these things so often, you, you just turn a little blind for it. So, you now let it sit for a couple of days. And then you come back and then you read it again. And then it's time to correct such errors. And then it will be a really good thesis. 
So one requirement for that is that you pace yourself. Don't try to write your thesis within the last couple of days that you've got. You need to start writing it early on. It depends on the length of your thesis, but anywhere from four to eight weeks is about appropriate to um, as a as a time frame to to get your uh, thesis uh, written. So if you pace yourself properly, you will still have time to go back and read it again and make it really as perfect as can be. So much for how to write a thesis. Uh, from here on, I'll now go through the different portions of your thesis, the different co components of them, and uh, I'll do this one by one and uh, tell you about how to write these specific components if you're interested. Thank you very much. See you then.